But anyway, man, watching a movie, you, you have to understand that when I look at that one and I look at the aerial controversy that's going on, um, I look at the aerial controversy and they mad that it's a little black girl that's playing it, which I don't think matters in, in a sense to where it's empowering because what we don't see in none of these movies is black family. Name, 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 like if Ariel is with a black prince, then it is empowering for young girls to see. But it's, you, you, you fall into the agenda when you separate black men and women. Well, it can just be empowering for the girls. They don't have to be empowering for the boys. Or Ariel don't have to be with a black man. It's okay that they can push the agenda of not seeing black family anymore, even after we've gotten a hundred plus years of programming of only white families in Disney movies. Even with the black princess and the frog, it was an Indian man that was with the young black girl when she kissed the frog. I had to look it up because somebody said, what about that one? Right? We don't get any. You did? It's not triggering for a man to see Woman King. I just think that you just got to look at it for what it's worth. As a movie, as pure entertainment, you know, I think cinematically it was a dope movie and the acting, I think, deserve awards. I just think that when you look at it from a critical perspective of some of the hitting messages, this is just what I'm talking about. I enjoyed the movie. I'm just looking at it from a critical standpoint now because everything is programmed. Right? So it's like if, if an aerial movie, you know, little black girls growing up with these fantasies of white men, I don't think is a good thing. Why can't they just have a black man? And a black and a black boy and a black girl. Why can't the prince be black and the princess be black? You never ask yourself that. When you go to the the when you go look at these movies and show me how many black families are in these movies together. Either the black man is dead or the black woman is dead, or they got some a black a white man got mixed children, or it's just it's there's never just a full black family dynamic, it's always missing piece. Why? It's not by accident. They was in there cooking up and they have a meeting. You gotta understand what you're talking about is people that is me looking at people's decisions. Y'all might look at a cartoon. I'm looking at the people in the background that say, okay, this is what we want to do. They have a meeting, they sit down, there's a team of writers that sit down and they make decisions. And what I'm doing is I'm judging their decisions that they're making. See, you talk, it's just a cartoon. These are grown people that make these decisions. And I'm asking why you think they make these intentional decisions when it comes all the way from the cutting block and then it's shown to the world. And then this same pattern is repeated over and over and over. They had Brandy back in the day. Wasn't no black man. It was a little Filipino dude, I think. White and Filipino, I think. There's, there's no stories. If you do, it may be one or two exceptions somewhere. I think they had Black Lightning. He had a black wife. You understand me? And they, they had all kinds of issues. I think they ended up getting back together. But it's, it's, it's like one or two. You had Black Panther. You understand me? I think he got with Lupita in the end. I can't remember. But shit, Black Panther, when he dies in real life, they, they kill the imaginary character as well. We'll see what they do. But I don't think... I don't think Black Panther character should be killed because it's the first time that black men and, and black people get a character in representation. Superman had 20 different Supermans. Batman, 20 different Batmans. There's Supermans that have died in real life, but the character, the fantasy character, which should not be connected to the real black man, he shouldn't die as well. So I, I think that we, we end up having to face trauma in real life and trauma afterwards. They got Hancock. Hancock weakness was a white woman. Will Smith, when he played the superhero. We'll see. Y'all think Black Adam gonna have a black wife? <laughs> I'm just saying, man. So, all I'm asking is asking you, Luke Cage. You understand me? Luke Cage was with the, uh, the white girl. He went with the black woman. 
And in real life, Luke Cage got a white woman. I like movies. I like Marvel. I like the fantasy industry. I'm just saying, in every single sense, you don't see black power couple dynamics. <laughs> you did. You know what I'm saying? Just ask yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just ask yourself why. That's all I'm saying. Because what you're looking at is a final product made by a decision of white folks. And they could have easily said, man, that's a black, that's a black woman. Let's put her a black man and let's make this movie. And that's all that would have been done. But when you say no, let's mix them up. We don't need to see black representation, right? It doesn't go along with the narrative that we want to push. You have to understand why, right? So instead, they want you salivating and they want the young girls fantasizing about, you know, being with in a, in a mixed relationship rather than being in a black family dynamic with a black man and a black woman. And then you wonder why there's so many issues as you grow along because you don't even, you're not even fed any visions of it. You're not fed any healthy imagination of it. It's not in the music. It's not in the movies. It's not in none of those things. Where is it at? When John Boyega says that he prefers a black woman, they mad at him. How do you get mad at a black man saying that he prefers a black woman? How do we get to this point in society where that's controversial? If a white man says he prefers a white woman, bruh, that's fine. You've seen your mom and your dad together and you want to be in a relationship like that. That makes sense. That's not racism. So Y'all got to understand the game that's being played on this psychologically. You understand me? And so in order for us to change something, the paradigm around it has to reinforce it. So events, movies, right? Organizations, education, right? Representation is, you know, it's never just one thing. So you can have education on it, but then you don't have, the programming in the movies, then you don't have events and representation, then you don't see it. All of these things reinforce if you want to shift the paradigm, you want things to change. There's never just one thing in the formula. So once you understand the formula for change, then you have to start seeing these things happen. 